Alright, well, it is tomorrow. Car is all blocked and surface cleaned. So we are gonna start getting ready to spray sealer on it. Uh, all the rest of the parts are in the backyard. I already sanded them, or not sanded, I primed them, but they need a little more dry time and sanding, so I'll do them separate. Because I think since it's a little on the warm side of today, it's about 90. Paint's probably going to be, you know, the time between coats is probably going to go down a little bit from the normal spec. And I think with all those other parts, I wouldn't be able to do it quick enough anyway. So we'll just roll with it this way. Car's painted. Uh, it looks pretty good. There's definitely some places where bugs got in it, like there, and some dirt on the hood. So I mean, there's definitely expecting to wet sand it. Uh, a lot of this that's actually got on there after the fact when I pulled some masking off, but we cleaned up some because right now some of it looks like an orange. But either way, I think it looks okay. Definitely looks better than it all peeling off. So, you know, we'll definitely have to do some correction on it, but it's good enough for who it's for. Anyway, i got to go paint the bumpers now and the little trim pieces and then hopefully call it a night. Alright, well, the body panels I had to repaint are fresh off the gun right now, so I'm not gonna come bother them. Get away, fly, you bastard. You should have died. Fucking flies. Anyway, um, yeah, these are the ones that got damaged by the rain the last time, surprisingly. So this time I've taken a little bit more precaution, even though it's not supposed to rain, and sort of put plastic up and hopefully we'll keep them safe for at least an hour or so until it flashes enough that water won't hurt it. Anyway, so that's done. And then over here, um, I screwed up. See, I got a bit overzealous sanding and burned through the clear coat and even the paint a bit right on the seam of the door. So, masked it all off and repainted and cleared it too while I did those panels. And then had to do the same thing on the back part of the hatch here because the paint was apparently thin there and got through it on the edge there. So I didn't do the whole hatch, just masked it there where the spoiler goes across the whole way to the edge. I think it goes from like there to there. So that'll hide the seam there under it. Uh, otherwise, we just gotta let paint dry and I should probably go quit avoiding cleaning out the paint gun. Even though the cheap Harbor Freight piece of junk one's irritating me, but anyway, dry. All right, well, I'm out here in the garage using the DA to do some polishing on the car after I wet sanded it some. Cause of course, my first time painting it and it was kind of humid and hot. Got some orange peel, but wet sanded it with 800, 1000, and 1500 grit. And, you know, I went around here, this section up here, with the little orange pad there on the power drill. And it came out looking like glass. I'm like, okay, great. So I go start with the DA, and I think it's sitting down there. I used a, you know, just an orange, the most aggressive cutting pad that was in that pad set I got, and it's still, you know, it, you could see sanding marks, and it just didn't look great. In fact, I think I'm gonna have to go redo the hatch top because I saw some of the same thing in it. But I used this McGuire's pad I bought too. I think what's that? Yeah, that one. The 
complete foam one and it's cutting a lot better same compound same mcguire's 105 but pad makes that much of a difference sure that ain't news to most people but it is to me so yeah just thought i'd share that real quick all right so i've been avoiding this job because i know it's gonna suck but you gotta take the fender off here so we can put our new painted fender on uh, I guess probably gonna have to take the wheel off and then have to wrestle with trying to fight back there and find all the bolts under the putty or butyl, whatever the heck it is, and, and that row them. That's pretty easy, so yeah, time for some fun. Well, this corner of the car is naked now. Uh, yeah, I got the fender off. So I guess we better clean up here a little bit before we put the <clears throat> new sealy goop stuff on and then we can slap the new fender on here. Well, fender's on and it looks like it's pretty well lined up. Yes, usually when the car's jacked up, the hood sits a little crooked, so it's a little low on that side, a little high there on the corner, so it ought to be fine. But anyway, that's looking pretty good. Might have to adjust. There's a couple of those bolts there that seemed like they... Well, there's one of them, particularly, that seemed like it was flexing at some, but it might need to go down a little more there. So we'll play around with all that, but otherwise I think it's looking pretty good. Might have to loosen it a little here and let it come out some, but... Alright, well, the back of the car is largely put back together. Especially this side. I got the window and the trim and everything in here, and I repainted the trim, so it looks nicer. Pressure washed the spoiler, too. Most of it cleaned up, although there's still... You know, some discoloration in it that I couldn't get to come out. I don't know, might have to try doing something to make it look a little less faded, especially next to the nice shiny black trim. Now, anyway, this side's all back together, and this quarter's polished. I need to finish up the wet sand, well, finish, I need to start and wet sand and polish this side. Um, you know, do the same to the door over here. But now we're gonna start putting the bumper back on. So I need to grab some tools, but hopefully we can get that set up in place and get the uh, sprayers hooked back up, even though I'm doubtful that they might actually work or not, but who knows. Well, most of the front end is back together. Didn't put the spoiler on yet, it's still up there. <clears throat> because I want to wait until I get done polishing the fender and everything. Um, so one thing I did different, and so far I'm kind of liking I'm curious to see how it looks breaking it up a little bit with the badge on, is I painted these chrome bezels from the headlights body color. Because, to be completely honest, the chrome kind of stuck out like a sore thumb. Nothing else on the car was chrome or anything. So did that. I'm not happy with it. I'll probably not, yeah, I can't be bothered to raise them up now. I didn't paint the bucket covers because I figured, you know, they're in the fender the whole time. They wouldn't have faded, but apparently they did some. Or, you know, the new paint that was matched to the code doesn't completely match. So probably have to redo those. But I need to get some more paint. But that's all on there. So just gonna move on from there. I did. I need to put the little bezels on the lights. Still, I cleaned them up. Well, I've been avoiding sanding as much as possible by putting together stuff over there, but <clears throat> got to the point where we need to do some more sanding. So I've gone ahead and sanded down the store and ignore the part that I started polishing and forgot to do anything else with. Um, sanded this down with some 2000 grit. There's gonna be some spots 
that aren't completely level. To be completely honest, as much as I'd like it level, I'm afraid to go in the whole way through the clear coat. Um, I did that on the other door once, and you know, in some area, it seemed like there was still a little more. So I, I think you know some of the where the paint didn't go down completely smooth, and the clear coats on top of that. Either way, I don't want to burn through it again. So I figure I'll get it looking pretty good now. Can always do more later if I feel brave enough, but at least I'll get it good enough to put together and, and can drive the car a little more or whatever. Alright, so this door looks pretty good now. Um, honestly, probably still have a little bit more polishing could do, but we're going to go ahead now and put the mirror on and maybe some of the trim here. Uh, just mainly to avoid sanding for a while because sanding sucks. So, yeah. Alright, so yesterday I went ahead and I got this. Oh, that's, uh,. That's not good. I think that just broke. Shit. Uh, anyway, um, I put the door back together, and this window scraper on this side's roached. It pretty much the little groove in it that's supposed to hold it. All the bead on it's supposed to hold it in the groove on here is gone. So yeah, I had to order a new one, and they're like two hundred bucks. So fortunately, the other side it was it looks old and cracked, but it's at least in enough shape that I don't want to spend $200 on it, so that one's okay, this one get a replacement, so, um, well, I was going to go ahead and put the sunroof in and put that door back together, but now that this seems to have just broke, I guess I'm taking this door back apart. It literally worked last night, and it worked earlier today whenever I walked over here. Well, I don't know how well you'll be able to see down there, but, see that zip tie there? That's holding the door mechanism together, uh, <clears throat> at least on the back half of the handle. I took some pictures of it. I'll try and put a picture. But it opens now. And I also adjusted it out so it doesn't take quite as much travel to open. So I'll try to remember to pull on this side, which is still solid. But for now, it'll work. I will order another one. No, that's not permanent, but I can at least open the door for now. I have to go online and find one, probably dial up 928 or International or something, but at least that's good for now. So now I can catch back up to where I was yesterday by putting the door panel back on, which means, let's see, I am further behind than I was yesterday. Yay! car sure ain't perfect, but I think it's good enough for now. Got most of it wet sanded. Didn't bother doing the bumpers, because honestly there's enough unevenness in it that it was... I was too worried about going through on it, and honestly the bumpers look pretty good. They came out decent. I wet sanded the hood and the tops of the fenders. Didn't get to the sides yet. Um, I'll probably get to them later. Some of the roof still has a little bit of spot on it where it needs some more sanding and the sunroof does too but really I wanted to get the car back together so it could use it um, but it is back together as it's gonna get for now still waiting on a couple parts like a door seal to show up but for the most part it is all back together and like I said I mean if you look real up close you're gonna find some things that aren't perfect on it, but, you know, I, it, it's all oh, your expectations. I knew it wasn't going to be perfect. It's a driver car. It's not a show winner or anything. So, it's going to be done for now, and just got to enjoy it some now. While the weather's still, well, I was going to say nice, it's too damn hot, but that's what AC is for.